Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the seventh inaugural meeting of the City of Chilliwack Council. Could everyone please remain standing for the singing of O Canada? <clears throat> have a seat. The first item of business is the invocation by Minister Angus Hagerty. As we bow our heads tonight, God, our creator and our maker of all people and for all places, and particularly for us here in Chilliwack. And we ask your blessing on us tonight in this important gathering. And I pray, dear God, that as we come from all walks of life, so we embrace all different faiths and traditions and spiritual values. And I would ask each person to do that for themselves just now, as I do mine through my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To govern as this term, dear God, you've allowed us to six, choose six councillors, and we ask your divine blessing upon them. Councillor Sue Attrell, Jason Lum, Chris Clute, as re-elected councillors, and Bud Mercer, Jeff Shields, and Howard Wessering as newly elected councillors. We pray, dear God, you'll grant them wisdom and guidance as they assume their office and responsibilities. And to our newly elected mayor, His Worship Ken Popoff, which has a good sound, may you grant him wisdom in his leadership, knowing there'll be many opportunities and discussions and decisions to make. And so we pray that you'll bless him and his council. May you give them the, your divine direction and grant them ears to hear and hearts to care as they take on their responsibilities. Hear our prayer, our great God and creator maker, and we add our amen to that. Amen. amen. <clears throat> the Honorable Justice Thomas Crabtree, Supreme Court of British Columbia, is in attendance to administer the statutory declarations and oaths of office.
that better? <laughs> so now you have to listen to me. Uh, I'd now like to call upon uh, Councillor-elect Kluth. First, uh, the oath of office. I, Sebastian Christian Clute, do solemnly affirm that I am qualified to hold the office of councillor for the city of Chilliwack to which I have been elected. I have not by myself or any other person knowingly contravened the Local Government Act respecting vote buying or intimidation in relation to the election of my office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office and will not allow any private interest to influence my conduct in public matters and, as required by the Community Charter, I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest I have in a matter and will not participate in, this, in the discussion of the matter, will not vote in respect of the matter. Thank you. And now uh, to administer the oath of allegiance. Just start there. I, Sebastian Christian Clute, do solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors. Thank you. Have a seat. Councillor Clute, congratulations. <laughs> now call upon uh, Councillor elect Shields. First is the administration of the oath of office. I, Jeffrey Edward Shields, do solemnly affirm that I am qualified to hold the office of Councillor for the City of Chillark to which I have been elected. I have not by myself or any other person knowingly contravened the Local Government Act respecting vote buying or intimidation in relation to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office and will not allow any private interest to influence my conduct in public matters and, as required by the Community Charter, I will disclose any direct or indir indirect pecuniary interest I have in a matter and will not participate in the discussion of the matter and will not vote in respect of the matter. Thank you. Will now administer the oath of allegiance. I, Jeffrey Edward Shields, do solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors. Councillor Shields, congratulations. Thank you. Now I'll call upon Councillor elect Atrell. Thank you. <laughs> and first, the oath of office. I, Susan Jeanette Atro, do solemnly affirm that I am qualified to hold the office of Councillor for the City of Chilliwack to which I have been elected. I have not, by myself or any other person, knowingly contravened the Local Government Act respecting vote buying or intimidation in relation to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office and will not allow any private interest to influence my, contact, my conduct in public matters. And as required by the Community Charter, I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest I have in a matter and will not participate in the discussion of the matter and will not vote in respect to the matter. Thank you. And now the Oath of Allegiance. I, Susan Jeanette Atrill, do so solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors. Thank you.
Councillor Atwell, congratulations. Now call upon Councillor-elect Western. And first, uh, the oath of office. I, Anthony Harvey Western, do solemnly affirm that I am qualified to hold the office of Councillor for the City of Chilliwack, to which I have been elected. I have not, by myself or any other person, knowingly contravened the Local Government Act, respect to vote buying, or intimidation in relation to my election to the office. I will faithfully perform the duties of my office and will not allow any private interest to influence my conduct in public matters. And, as required by the Community Charter, I will disclose any direct or indirect pecuniary interest I have in a matter and will not participate in the discussion of the matter and will not vote in the respect of the matter. Thank you. And now the Oath of Allegiance. I, Anthony Harvey Westring, do solemnly affirm that I will faithfully and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors. Councillor Westring, congratulations. <laughs> Mayor and Council, thank you for the opportunity to be able to be here this evening. Could everyone please stand for the singing of God Save the Queen? Order, first order of business, Madam Clerk. The first item is that the record of the inaugural ceremony of the seventh council of the city of Chilliwack held November 6th be received for information. Thank you. If I get a mover, mm -hmm. Councilor Shields, Councilor Westrink, any discussion? All those in favor? Carry. Next order of business. The next item is a report from the Chief Election Officer, Carol Friesen, dated November 5th, 2018 claiming the results of the October 20th general local election, results of the votes cast following the judicial recount and order made on November 2nd, along with a letter from Bonnie Bryant, Chief, Ele Chief Election Officer, Caltus Lake Park Board, dated October 31st, advising on the candidates elected by acclamation for Caltus Lake representatives. It's presented for Council's information. Thank you. Uh, you have a mover. Contra Clute. Contra Lum. Any discussion? All those in favor? Motion carried. Next order of business. The next item is that the mayor's recommendation of the 2019 City Council appointments to board and advisory committees be approved as presented. So moved. Thank you. Moved by Councillor Atrell, second by Councillor Clute. Any discussion? All those in favor? Motion carried. Next order of business. The next item is the mayor's address. Thank you. I would like to acknowledge the fact that the land that we are on is unceded territory of the Stolo people. Um, I'm, I'm really, really passionate about making some inroads so we can foster some, some relationships with our neighbors. Uh, I, I feel that's very, very important to this council moving forward. Moving from that, I, I do want to welcome everybody here. I want to welcome family, friends, city staffers. I see you all up there. 
it's great everybody came out tonight for this event. And I need to recognize a few folks that were involved with this. Uh, our First Nations colleagues, Honorable Justice Tom Crabtree. Thank you, Tom, for your work. It's great. The Honorable Stephen Point was supposed to be here, but he was stuck in traffic, apparently. Minister Angus Haggerty, thank you for your vocation. Kendall Clark for, for piping us down. It was great. Aviana, Madeline, and Jack Clemson for singing. The Chilliwack Symphony Orchestra Trio, the Chilliwack Community Band that was outside in the foyer as all you folks walked in. I want to thank my friend Brian Minter for making our stage look cool. I had to do a little trimming before I got here just to make sure it looked great. But it looks great. Um, and for sure, not last but least, but our staff that that put this event on. Uh, Zoya, Trish. Liana and Jamie, can you either raise your hand or make yourself known? These ladies have been working on this event for the last couple, three weeks, and they have worked extremely hard to put all this together for all of us here for today. So can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> and and further to that, I, I, I would be remiss by not Thanking, um, well, there's a couple of fellow colleagues up in the stands. Uh, uh, Ken Hadama, that I worked with for for a year until his, his his retirement last time, and and my friend Chuck Stam, who's a mentor of mine. Uh, this is his last, um, I guess you can say, kick at the can. This is his last thing that he has to attend. Chuck, we all love you. We miss you. I do have you on speed dial. I will be be talking to you probably more than you want, but thanks for all your service. Let's give him a hand of applause, please. <laughs> now, moving forward, um, I'm not a long-winded talker, but uh, there are some things that I, we have to talk about. And in my council, I, I applaud the work that went into this campaign. I know I was a part of it. I am, I, am, I am proud of the people that I have to work with. I think the next four years are gonna be awful, but very, very productive. There's things on the social side, the, the security side that we all need to address, affordable housing, and I think we have an awesome team. I don't think, I know we have an awesome team to move Chilliwack forward in the next four years. I'm very, very proud of the people that I'm gonna be working with, along with senior staff, Peter Monteith, everybody else involved. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a great four years. So um, that's all I have to say. I'm going to send it over to uh, Councillor Lum. I asked all my councillors to to weigh in as well. So Councillor Lum, get a few words. Thank you, uh, Your Worship. So <laughs> <laughs> Can, I'm going to change that name. Let, too. I don't, I don't want to call that. Thanks, Jason. Uh, sounds good, doesn't it? Mayor Popov, um, I know it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, unusual, actually, uh, for a mayor to uh, pass uh, the mic around and ask the council to uh, speak at, a, at an inaugural meeting, but I think this is, uh, is kind of par for the course. You know, it's kind of your style. You, uh, you're the type of leader who, uh, you know, who leads from behind, who props people up, who gives them an opportunity to take part, and I look forward to uh, working as a part of this team and under your uh, leadership. I want to thank uh, my, my family and, and friends, and a lot of my family are here tonight. Um, it's, uh, it's a wonderful feeling to be back serving the community again for another four years. I want to thank and recognize some of, the, some of my former colleagues, the former mayor and council, uh, who did uh, a lot of work and taught me a lot of things, extended a lot of patience, as I learned the role of, of council over the past uh, seven years. I'd like to thank and recognize my new colleagues around the table. I am so excited to work with you. This is a fantastic council, as Mayor Popov said, uh, and we have a very bright future ahead of us. There are some very high expectations for this council, and when I look around the table, I know uh, that we will not only meet them, but we will work to uh, exceed them. There are a lot of challenges, and, uh, and I look forward to hit the ground uh, running. I know we've got our, uh, our appointments uh, uh, 
today and we've got our marching orders so um, tomorrow is uh, right back to work and uh, tonight is a bit of a celebration and uh, again uh, last but not least just want to thank and recognize the community it was such a wonderful turnout this uh, this election there was a lot of people who were involved and passionate and uh, a lot of them are are in the room here tonight and uh, let's let's keep that uh, that passion and that involvement and that engagement going as we move forward through the next four years. So thank you very much for the opportunity to speak tonight. Thank you, Councillor Lum. <laughs> Councillor Westman. Thanks, Your Worship. I feel both fortunate and excited to be working with a council that has a perfect mix of proven experience and enthusiastic op the optimism all pulling in the same direction to make Chilliwack a better community. I could not be happy with, with the responsibilities that I have been given, affordable housing, development advisory, agricultural advisory, and tourism Chilliwack. I couldn't have asked for a better slate of things to be responsible for. I met with a bunch of my new teammates today. They are fun, hardworking, and focused, ready to take on the challenges and opportunities in front of us. And I'm looking forward to being a great teammate. I want to thank staff, I want to thank the community, um, especially I want to thank my wife Lisa and kids. I want to thank them a ton and a thanks to my whole family for your support and your encouragement. Thanks for the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Councillor Western. Councillor Clute. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, I am humbled and honoured to once again have been given a solid mandate to serve and represent the residences and businesses within the City of Chilliwack. The support and warmth I've received throughout the election campaign by dedicated individuals reaffirms to me that we live in one of the best cities in Canada, and for that, I thank you. To my colleagues around this table, congratulations on your success. We welcome three new councillors, along with the three incumbent councillors, and we welcome a former councillor as our mayor. I'm excited for what the next four years will bring as we work together to serve the people of Chilliwack. To our city staff, from our senior management team to the frontline workers, thank you for your day-to-day -day work and your dedication to this place that we are privileged to call home. To my beautiful wife, Nella, and my amazing sons, Justin, Steve, I guess I should have started with the oldest, Steve, Justin, and Colin, thank you for your support and understanding of the importance of my role and commitment to public service. <coughs> Let me conclude with a wish to my colleagues around this table. It is a quote from Matty Stepanek. Unity is strength. Where there is teamwork and collaboration, wonderful things can be achieved. Team Chilliwack, I hope wonderful things will happen in the next four years, and I wish each of you wisdom around this table. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Kluge. Those are great words. Councillor Shields. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, I'm really excited about this next four years. I think we've got a fantastic team, just such a strong team of, of experience, of of wisdom, of leadership. I think the next four years are going to be very exciting for us. I think they're going to be very exciting for the town of Chilliwack. Mayor Popov, I'm looking forward to, uh, to serving under you for, you for the next four years. Um, there's lots of opportunities, lots of challenges facing us. And uh, I think we've, as I said, we've got the right team. Um, I'm really, really glad that uh, campaign period is over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, having said that, I met some incredible people that really inspired me to, to continue to push to, to, uh, to reach this role. And they were the reason that I, you know, every once in a while you just need an extra push and I really got it from them. Um, I, of course, have to thank my, my family, my wife Sherry and my daughters Megan and McKenna. They, uh, their love and support, they, they realize that I do a lot and I stay busy, but they're always there for me and, and uh, I couldn't do it without them. Uh, friends, thank you for all through this, this whole process. It was this, the support from friends and colleagues that kept me, kept me going and, and, and make me know that I made the right decision. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Councillor Shields. We look forward to your next four years as well. And last but not least, Councillor Atrell. Thank you, Your Worship. 
<laughs> I'm going to change that. Uh, it just doesn't fit because you're uh, not really that kind of serious what? guy. <laughs> I mean, you know. Anyways, um, I want to uh, obviously thank uh, the city of Chilliwack for honoring me with another term. And I'm so excited to be working with Ken at the helm. Uh, he's such a great guy and has worked so hard for this city. And uh, I couldn't be more delighted to be working with my colleagues, uh, Jason and Chris, that we've become sort of a family. And, and I just feel so happy that I get to be part of it. And of course, for our new councillors, they've already proven themselves to be really great team players. So I am I'm pretty excited about the prospects for our community. I want to thank my wonderful daughters, uh, Melody and Haley Attrell, and my son-in-law, Brandon, for all their support throughout the election. Uh, it is crazy times, and you know, sometimes you, you get a little overwhelmed by the whole thing. I also want to thank my sweet Norm for being so supportive. I also had an amazing committee of people that were supporting me through the campaign, putting out signs and all the rest of it. And if any of you are out there, I just want to say thank you so very much for all your help. And certainly, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you to the staff at City Hall who go through uh, this crazy uh, time every three or four years and uh, their whole worlds are turned upside down and they're just so incredibly professional and supportive and, and uh, amazing people. We are so very blessed to have such a great staff at City Hall. I'm also excited to chair the very first Heritage, Heritage Committee. Uh, we are bringing forth a heritage committee and I get to chair it, so I'm, I'm very excited about that and I'll continue on chairing public art and working with the downtown BIA board. I'm also excited to see Five Corners finally revitalized from the very first moment that uh, I was elected in 2008. It was the first thing we talked about and you know, it's, it's time. I'm excited about that and also to see a huge reduction in homelessness. And last but not least, I just want to thank you for putting your trust in me, and I promise I'll work hard. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, with just a couple things before we wrap this up. Um, Councillor Bud Mercer had a date in Edmonton that he could not get out of. He's uh, meeting with Princess Anne, I believe it is, is what he's doing. And I threatened to have a seat for him with a little cutout of him sitting sitting up there. So at least he was he was here, but he didn't think that was too funny. So I, I, I left that one alone. And I would be remiss not to thank my beautiful wife Gail for putting up with me for the last six eight months. And um, it's been a it's been a road. Um, I'll try be a little more attentive and. <laughs> Less crabby, but it's all good. It's all good. No, it's been great. It's been a great run. I'm, I'm excited for the next four years, and um, I think it's a wrap. Next order of business, please, Madam Kirk. Next item is a motion to adjourn. Can I get a mover? Move. Councillor Lum, second. Councillor Westring. All those in favor? Done. Carried. We're done. Phew. <laughs>